despite the fact that the Fokker triplane was merely a technical patchwork designed to help Fokker escape license production of the AEGC-4, it became one of the most iconic aircraft of the First World War, and this despite only 320 of them having been built. A true masterpiece of aviation history. The triplane is Fokker's first design to enter serious production after the structural upheavals of the V-1. Many innovations introduced there were structurally sound enough to withstand combat missions, but had previously overlooked manufacturing issues that, while sufficient for a one-off, led to problems in serious production. For example, until mid-production of the DR-1, the covering was nailed to the ribs. A thoroughly proven and common practice at the time. However, the triplane was based on the findings of the V1, which in turn had plywood covered wings and was a one off in Fokker's experimental department. As such a one off, it was built with great care by the best and most skilled of his workers, and the narrow rib caps introduced on it were sufficient for attaching the plywood skin, which was additionally glued. Strength tests on the V1 ribs showed that the ribs were sufficiently strong with the narrow rib caps. Therefore, this was the first time ever this was also done on a fabric covered aircraft, the triplane. However, the covering had since been nailed to much wider rib web, 20 mm wide. So this was also the way it was done on the first triplanes. The wing breakages that plagued the triplane were partly caused by the new narrow rib caps, now 8 mm wide only, partially plintering due to nailing, thus insufficiently securing the covering. Moisture penetration also damaged the wing and sloppy workmanship did the rest, which led to stories about poor design. The investigations into the wing breakages led to numerous changes, most of which were implemented. What many people don't realize is that the triplane was originally designed as a biplane, later entering production as such a D6. It was converted into a triplane during construction of the prototype and therefore several structural features were extremely unfavorable for assembly and maintenance because they weren't planned that way. The undercarriage for example could only be taken off with the lower wing removed first, despite the angled ribs at the wing root, and the center wing front attachment bolts were inaccessible. Therefore. Two access holes were cut into the fuselage covering below the center wing, and those were sealed with a large sheet metal cover under the middle wing. The final report on the triplane by Eiffel listed all these defects and demanded their correction. They were never corrected, as the triplane was only ordered in very small numbers, and these were soon to be phased out anyway. Technically speaking, it was quite a patchwork. But the aircraft's flight performance and structural strength were convincing and saved Fokker from being reduced to a licensee. All of the required improvements led to the technical solutions in the later D6, D7, as well as the E5 or D8 respectively.